Hey, how's it going, guys? This is going to be the final video of this series, so I will go over quickly some of the things we covered in this series. So, we started off with learning the basics of API and talked about what is an API, what is REST API, covered about what is API testing and the advantages of API testing. After that, we quickly dived into the installation as well as the configuration process to get our framework set up. Then we started off with our user.js file, where we pretty much went over and got a basic understanding of how Supertest, Mocha, and Chai works by covering different HTTP methods. Then we learned about how to optimize our existing test by removing our data dependencies and reorganizing our test. Here we actually moved our test from basically first creating a post test, then a get, and then we did our put test and the delete one. This way we got our test to be more stable and have less side effects. After that, we started to look at how to scale our test framework. This is where we implemented async awaits in our test, which made our test look a bit more cleaner. And we also added hooks in our test for our setup and teardown purposes. After that, we wrote some negative tests to increase our test coverage. So here we covered our 422 data validation fail test as well as 401 authentication fail test. And if you remember, we also added faker for our test generation over here. And we also created the .n file to securely store our token. And if you remember, we created a configuration file, which basically is where we are storing all our configuration related data. So this summed up our overall framework setup that we did from the test perspective. Then from the reporting side, we generated HTML report using the Mocha Awesome Reporter. And finally, we integrated our test using Jenkins and also added JUnit reported in it. All right, so we covered quite a bit of material here. If you made it this far, guys, great job. This is really a big accomplishment as you can utilize the skills and key concept to pretty much any kind of API test framework with any library or framework out there. So once again, all of this code we have covered will be available on GitHub for you to access and play around with. So feel free to fork the repository and add more tests in it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this series. Let me know what other content you would like to see in the comments below. Now, if you'd like to support me, there are a few ways to do that. First off, you can hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have the means, you can also support me through Buy Me A Coffee website. I will add the link in the description below for that. That's all for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one.